If you are looking to move into a new home soon, the first 3D printed houses in the Austin area set to go up for sale. Hmm. Uh, they just opened if you want to buy one of the six futuristic homes in the Georgetown area. I'm interested to see this. Betty Cross found out the success of the neighborhood will actually help determine if this technology can be mainstreamed. Home buyers looking for a unique space in the Austin suburbs are now getting their first chance to buy into a one-of-a-kind neighborhood. We have scaled up. Connor Jenkins is overseeing operations at Icon's first 3D printed community. Six homes printed by these robots will be up for sale later this week in Georgetown's Wolf Ranch. A lot of people are looking for something different, They're looking for a disruption. This is the dice floor plan. At not quite 1,600 square feet, it has three bedrooms, two baths, and a kitchen island. It is the lowest priced home in the community. Our first home starts at 475000 and we go up into the, the high 500s. Charlie Coleman is with the Lennar Corporation. He says these inch-thick layers of cement-based technology have generated a lot of buzz. We've seen first-time home buyers. We've seen move-up families. Um, you know, we've seen empty nesters and retirees. The question now is, will interest in learning about these innovative homes translate into buying them? We've priced these homes to be on par with the current market for traditionally built homes. While list prices are similar, Icon says these homes require less maintenance and the use of lava crete and solar panels will reduce heating and cooling costs. We're excited to kind of prove out the technology and prove out the construction methods with folks that want to be trailblazers. Prospective home buyers can register this week to be included in Saturday's sales launch of five of the eight floor plans that will be available in the community. Hmm. You know, I've seen some of this technology before. I follow some home builders on Instagram and we'll see if it sticks. They look a little bit different. That's the thing. Which is fine. I'm, I think it just depends on, hey, listen, if it's affordable mm -hmm. and if it's got good insulation and, you know, sound the whole nine. Yeah. I don't think you'd mind being a trailblazer, but you just want to make sure you get what you pay for. Yeah. Austin, let us know how this works out. <laughs> get back to us.